Welcome to the New Grounds Podcast. Today's episode hosted by Psycho Goldfish, Goodell, and Zinzinix. Welcome to the New Grounds Podcast. It's me, your host, Cycle Goldfish, along with these two other guys. Say hello. 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 Oh, hello. <laughs> yeah. That, that was that was good, Al. And X and X. Is it, it, how the fuck that? Zin Zinix? Pinko. Uh, we, we've also got a special co-host with us today. His name is Spadezer, I believe. Spadezer. Spadezer. Hello. Spadezer. 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 Uh, you'll right. know him for organizing the Newgrounds Audio Death Match, also helping to judge it. So, uh, welcome to the show, Spideezer. We uh, are glad you could make it. <laughs> uh, if you guys haven't caught on, the uh, running gag in the show this month is botching people's names. And uh, we're going to keep running with that joke until it's no longer funny. And we'll keep running with it probably another month after. Right. Yeah. Until it stops hurting my feelings. <laughs> thanks, for, thanks for inviting me, Psycho. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Zinzinix, for what it's worth, feel free to call me Goodle. Goodle, there we go. Goodle. Goodle. Perfect. Goodle. He's a Goodle, like Goodle. Goodle. He's, he's the Goodle boy. Everything's confusing. Goodle. Just a Goodle boy. <laughs> what, what's going on at Newgrounds? We're here so off track. What's going on at Newgrounds? <laughs> well, Newgrounds, we've had a, a busy month since the block party. Um, last week, you know, we talked about some of the changes in the podcast, and then we had a little interview. So we didn't really go over a lot of the site news, so we got a little bit of catching up to do. Uh, we had uh, Robot Day recently. Uh, congrats to Guy Unger NL and his game uh, Schmuckum Chuckum Robots. It was a pretty cool game. I don't know if you guys played it or not, but he did the whole thing, like, claymation style. It was really neat. Oh, um, yeah, check it out. Yeah, yeah, I've seen, I've played it actually. Uh, it has a really like simple mechanic where you just bop other like robots in the yeah, face, yeah. and then not, they bounce around. But it looks really cool. And I guess he's working on something in that claymation style. He he describes it as an exploration game about a little chicken escaping from a meat factory. So that should be pretty cool. Uh, if you're interested in that project, he did link to the project Discord on his Robot Day submission. So check that out. Um, speaking of Robot Day, let's also shout out Ozark and Darker777NG for their respective art submissions. Uh, did you see those, Zin? Yeah, I actually saw them. Ozark actually uh, posted to the party contest I hosted this year. So to see him post that at the uh, Robot Day 2020 contest and do really well with that, it was impressive. He he has this like really cool style, and it wasn't as like concise as what he posted to the party contest. He played with the colors, and it paid off because it impressed Mind Chamber so much. He was like, well, I just got to give this second place because of the way he, he submitted it. It's this type of originality in, in the concept that he played with. It looks like a priest robot, and the colors are all fading, and they're not they're not all like tight as they should be because he's playing around with the concept and it turned out immaculate. And then for Dacker 77 NG with that Peabot maintenance art. Woo! How can how, how can right? someone draw something so so well that it looks 3D rendered, but it was done by hand? So Peabot just looks amazing. And the two characters working on him had this cartoony style. They kind of they kind of um contrast from the way Peabot looks. So it was really well done. And I, I appreciate Mind Chamber for choosing them for winners because because for their respective styles. Yeah, it's really cool too because they they were going up against like you know all other mediums like everything was fair game so for some art pieces to beat out animation and music and stuff that tells you how good it is yes absolutely uh, how are you guys doing um i know the site went down a few times this week and i, I think that might have caused a little tra traumatic stress to people are you, did you guys you know get through it okay i didn't actually i, I think <laughs> I'm permanently scarred in fact, <laughs> I, I'm afraid. So I've got Newgrounds, a Newgrounds tab pulled up right now, but I'm afraid to click on it because I'm just, if I see Newgrounds is down right now one more time, I honestly think I'll spiral out of control. <laughs> well, we got some good news. Uh, Brent the Man put in a lot of work. Turns out we had some bad hardware. There was some memory that went bad and we had our data center replace that, and it just kind of caused a cascade of problems that we weren't even aware of. He spent a shit ton of time fixing all that. Um, that's what the second outage was about, actually. And uh, the good news is, if it ever goes down again for hardware outages, it shouldn't take all day to come back. So uh, we definitely appreciate the work Brendan has put in, making sure things run smooth and keep... Uh, getting smoother every day. I was thinking though, maybe we should put together some kind of charity to uh, raise money for all the victims of the tragic outage. 
Um, I know a lot. I know a lot of people were hurting. <laughs> so I thought I was under the impression that all of the Newgrounds hardware was external. Now, am I wrong about that? It's all cloud based. We had been on a uh, cloud based virtual hosting and stuff. Uh, we kind of move around here and there when we find better deals for hosting or what's more cost effective. Um, we're kind of back on physical hardware now. We still use some virtualization within the hardware, but when the hardware goes bad, so does the virtualization. So, but yeah, that's kind of where we're at now and things happen. It's pretty standard for the business, but normally the outage wouldn't have taken that long. Um, we should have only been down for maybe a couple hours as they replaced the stuff, but then once they were done replacing it, the site didn't want to come back up and we couldn't get into it to like tell it to boot up. And it was a whole thing and nobody was happy with it. Yeah, you um, hurt everyone's feelings because I was in Discord chats and everyone's like, oh my God, what are we going to do without Newgrounds? Don't worry, guys. It'll be back in an hour, five hours later. It's like, <laughs> you can really yeah. see the turmoil people were having. And a lot of people were like, you can't keep me away from Newgrounds. What is this? <laughs> It, it is touching though because now. we've seen we've seen other outages where people will you know they'll post on Twitter oh Newgrounds is down just kind of nonchalantly and and that's the end of it but like this one people were like oh my god what's going on I need my Newgrounds twenty twenty six yeah like, <laughs> I can't leave my house what will I do without my art portal porn or or people my music about, like, Facebook oh. addiction I feel like Newgrounds addiction is like where Facebook addiction is like a marijuana addiction where like. Newgrounds is like meth. It's just like you gotta have it. Now. Could you could you imagine if Newgrounds had quote the algorithm unquote? I mean, oh, the ooh. algorithm. <laughs> we usually oh, generated the front tags. Page algorithm? Like, uh, no, not the front. There's no front page algorithm. It's all hand curated, which makes it, it nice. Be. Oh, really? It used to be. That's interesting. That is actually. There was really never an algorithm. It was always Tom and the mods. I'll be core rhythm. Well, I mean, the algorithm, the algorithm was just whatever Tom liked. Yeah, and now yeah, perfect. That's, yeah, that's, that's why on this on this podcast we always handpick things that we know Tom will enjoy, just so that we make sure we get on the front page. Right, right. <laughs> we don't beg him or nothing. It's a, <laughs> there's not a secret deal going on in the <laughs> <It's> background. <so laughs> <pandering>. <laughs> All right, so at least Newgrounds is fixed. At least we're all healthy, back up and running, and our sanity can remain the same. You know what I mean? Yep. Yeah, so, I think I, I think so we'll we we'll recover. That's right. Wonderful. And, so what's uh, next? It, it's fixed fixed just in time because Madness Day is just around the corner. Yeah, uh, that'll be next week. Uh, or if you're listening to the recording, uh, you already missed it, but I'm sure you can watch <laughs> all the stuff. <laughs> That's why you got uh, to listen Yeah. Crinkles really wanted to be here live, but they're just, him and the Swain are just so swamped right now working on Project Nexus that they couldn't break away. But he did want me to let you guys know on Madness Day, September the 22nd, he will be live streaming on his Twitch channel. Uh, you can join that uh, twitch.com slash Mr. Underscore Crinkles. Uh, tune in live for that. He's going to be watching all the Madness Day stuff live. Uh, you guys are welcome to join him and chime in. The Swain wanted everybody to know he does not celebrate Madness Day. So basically, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> Why? Yep. Why would he be like that? The Swain, no. I love you. I, I, might, I might be paraphrasing the fuck you part. But yeah, he's, he's like, I don't celebrate Madness Day. <laughs> It's like I've had to work yeah. on this shit for like three years. Yeah. I'm sick of looking like, at it. <laughs> so, this, is, this is a job, not, not a thing. Think of this madness. <laughs> this madness. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so Madness Day, September 22nd. Uh, as I mentioned, if you're listening to the recording, you probably already missed it. So I guess maybe you should join our Discord at bit.ly slash NGP Discord so that you don't fucking miss this stuff. It's very important. Moving yeah. on. Big, uh, big animation jam is on now. The uh, Among Us animation jam. The theme is the purple imposter. Uh, you know, there was a point where that's what my wife called my penis, but we're not going to talk about it. <laughs> the purple is imposter. Is this an Among Us reference now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you haven't played Among Us yet, it's only $5 on Steam, or you can get it free on mobile. And no matter which version you get, it does have cross platform play. Want to give a big shout out to Puffballs United and crew for making the game. It's really awesome, and I'm so glad it's finally getting the attention it deserves. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. And and um, it's a short animation jam too. So you've already seen entries come out. It's been flooding the art portal. It's been flooding like Twitter. It's everywhere. You've literally seen Among Us. And of course, you hate to jump on the bandwagon, but it's actually a really fucking fun game. And the thing, the thing about the animation jam is that the creators themselves actually donated three thousand dollars to the prize pool too. So they're they're actually oh, hosting sick. this on Newgrounds. And so we're hoping that that we see a lot of stuff come out of that. And it's, it's been nice to get the community together because other than, other than us, like us promoting it, I really had no, no want to play among us, but now I just really want to play it because we got the animation jam going on and I want to, I want to be relevant. I don't want to be like that, that dude that doesn't know what's going on with things. So gotta be, gotta be in the know. I don't want to be like, consciously staring in the corner at the water cooler when everybody else is talking about the cool stuff right <laughs> right yeah that sounds exactly. like me when everyone's talking about football oh god oh god so oh, yeah. we're... i love the sports ball teams they're great with the football <laughs> and, the, and, and the goals i love it is that the one where they use their feet for the ball instead of their hands or is that the one where they use their hands for the feet instead of the ball <laughs> that's, that's that's getting confusing <laughs> <laughs> um yeah but this cross platform for among us and we're going to be setting up uh some game rooms in the ngp server so if you guys want to hang out and like get good <laughs> basically at <laughs> among us and and lose a couple times then hang out with us in the ngp discord yep. we'll have it going on we've got five rooms right now you can join uh one of the voice channels and the text channels and whoever wants to host a game just post your room code and Get her done. Get her done. And that's live as of now. So if you want to stop listening to us, you can go ahead and play it. You can, but please don't. The thing that's yeah, really please don't. Good about the uh, about this as an animation jam, I think, is that the characters are pretty pretty easy to draw, right? So it lends itself really well to yeah. Making, Anybody you know, at any things. skill level can get in on this and do quite well, I think. Right. Yeah. So I think I think this is a really good idea for an animation jam. I yeah. know, and. I, First, I, I didn't like it because I was like, "Where's the originality in something like this? Like, it's already, it's already a meme. It's already like super mainstream." And I was like, "Why, why the fuck do this?" And then I realized the the developers are like, "Yeah, do this. Here's three grand. Like, okay, all right. It's like you got me now. <laughs> oh, okay, if money's involved. It's it's okay. Okay. <laughs> it's about the money, yeah. there's, there's literally ten places for the animation. So honestly, originality is going to come to the surface of these animations because you're going to see the same theme over and over, like purple imposter. Yeah, but then how did you make it different? Like, that's what I'm interested in. And I've seen a lot of a decent like art from it too so so like yeah. uh and if, if anybody wants to make an animation with my purple imposter penis you're you're welcome to the oh, God. <laughs> it's public domain hey uh josh honestly i noticed that they didn't they never said that you couldn't be rated a no 18 plus uh content. <laughs> <laughs> so jesus well, christ I, I don't know that the rated a ones are per likely to win it because i don't know we want to promote those so much but if you want to do one i mean i don't think anybody's going to stop you <laughs> that's awful double exp for voting until the end of the jam october 7th too so yep double XP. that's fun so, and yes. there's gonna be so many animations coming in you might as well get that extra xp yeah 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 what else double, we got double double your fun hang on double uh, the trouble uh y'all should know by now the final fantasy 7 collab came out uh we're not gonna get into that too much right now because we're gonna talk to our boy snackers later on in the show and uh relive some of his horrific memories of working on it um, <laughs> you mean glorific because it was amazing swag swag yes. it was <laughs> swag -tastic. oh my um, arch nemesis swagger off i love that <laughs> Halloween's right around the corner. Um, we won't be talking too much about that right now. But Zin, you did get to sit down with Seven Seas to talk about the writing contest. You want to talk about that just a little bit? Oh my gosh, yeah, Seven Seas. Uh, right now she's going by the Ghost of Seven Seas. But if you type in Seven Seas dot uh, .com, you'll find her. She's a uh, mod actually for the BBS, and she has this really tight like knit community within the forums. She cares for everyone on the forums too. Like I got to sit down and really learn what's going on in the forums because we kind of get overshadowed by everything else going on in the site. And I'm so busy with art, so busy with the animation, so busy with everything else, like like organizing that I don't get to hang out in the forums like I used to. And she has a lot going on. Um, so in lieu of Halloween, she's hosting a writing contest. It's the Halloween 2020 writing contest. The theme is the end of the world. It can be post-apocalyptic. It could be uh, modern or contemporary apocalyptic. It could be right before the apocalypse. Just something in the end of the world. Because 20, she said, because 2020 has been such a shitty year that we might as, she might as well just capsize on it and like get everyone's frustrations out frustrations out in the form of a, a written story and she's put up 175 dollars of her own money in first place is 100 second place is 50 third place is 25 and i 
think it's it's hella entertaining. And she in Seven Seas has a Halloween thread. If you ever want to just talk about Halloween with her, she knows everything that goes on in the NGBBS when it comes to Halloween too. Like there's a scary movie suggestion uh, page that she runs. There's a scary book suggestion thread. There's also Inktober. So there's a lot going on when it comes to Seven Seas, Halloween, and the writing contest. So it's fun. And you you actually interviewed her. So the interview will be coming out sometime in the near future too. So be sure to look out for that, guys. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Also going on in October, uh, my ass is going to be turning uh, 43 years old. So if uh, oh, God. Wants to do a uh, Psycho Goldfish needs to fucking retire animation jam, go for it. Um, you can also <laughs> feature my purple imposter in that one. <laughs> so if, you're, if your ass is that old how old is the rest of your body uh my fingers are about 37 my face is probably 28 because it's so pretty <laughs> See, i was wondering i was wondering if you got real old bod just super old bod but you got a fine young 43 year old ass <laughs> uh you're not you're not far off actually you're not far off um so uh, I, some of you may have heard that I, uh, I like to partake in drinking a fair bit. And so I also have been exercising regularly, um, for the most part. Uh, so yeah, I've got like, like amazing legs. My quads can just go, and you can see all the definition, you know, shaping the arms, you know, my ass, you can bounce a quarter off, but then my stomach, that's a whole other story. <laughs> I mean, so, I, I, yeah, I'm wrestling a match between you and Tom who wins. I, I think I can take Tom in an arm wrestling match, but if oh. it came down to like who has to hold a yoga pose the longest, I think he could beat me. Because oh. <laughs> hey, what happened to the push-up contest between you and Tom? Oh, that's a good question. Actually. That was I, Fro and Tom, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, it, it right. Tom, and then uh, and then I suggested that the person who wins the push-up contest should control new grounds, and then we should have did a like new grounds push-up contest because I was actually I can do sixty-six push-ups. Like I'm not yeah, trying see, to brag. What, what happened? Yeah, Zin posted <laughs> posted a video on social media of himself doing push-ups, and everybody saw how many he could do, and we were all like, "Nope, I'm out." <laughs> so, so that that's that's what happened. We all saw what Zin could do, and yeah, we were. Done. It's funny. All right. <laughs> Speaking of lifting a lot of weight, uh, Spadzer, my man, is uh, holding the weight of the Newgrounds audio death match right oh now. Oh, my God. Um, first of all, uh, Spadzer, why don't you tell people what the Newgrounds audio death match is? Because uh, I think a lot of people might think we have a fight club going on. You're not yeah, too far I mean, off, but not it's, it's far not quite as no. violent. It is, I mean, it is one of the bigger audio contests that are going on um, in Newgrounds. I think this year it happens to be the year that the underdog audio contest happens to be bigger. Um, but this has been going on for over 10 years. I think last year was a 10th year anniversary of it, so last year was huge. But this is an audio contest where everyone gets to audition for their spot in the deathmatch competition through making whatever music they want. Um, as long as it's good music and original content. And then as you get paired up with people, you start facing off against other people that are also making music until you best them in each round until it gets down to the final people going up against each other for the prize. And this year also happens to be a money prize. Thanks for the people who are, who have donated in the prize pool, which since we're on that topic, I'll point out who has done that for right now. We've had Thompson, who is actually in the contest, uh, submit some money for it. Uh, Wegra, I hope I'm not pronouncing it incorrectly. The Ghost of Seven Seas, uh, myself and Tom and Fulp have um, donated for it. Everyone's favorite nerd and Jay Khan. Thank you guys for supporting the donation pool and for helping making this contest be the contest to be at. Now, we've got some amazing audio coming out of this. So if you guys can donate it, get, donate to the, the whole cause here. You're just promoting some of the best audio that's been out on Newgrounds in a long time. Um, can you tell them where and how to donate if they don't know? The There is the Newgrounds 2020 Deathmatch um, thread that are going on. I think we're in round three right now. Uh, the next round will be announced uh two sundays from now so uh people who are in this round have to submit their audio by 11 59 p.m eastern time zone on september 20th and then a week after that we'll be announcing the next round and those who are continuing on if you want to uh make a donation pm tom fulp about it um they'll probably request you to make a paypal submission for it um so yeah i highly suggest getting on the donation prize pool bandwagon there 
Um, thank you also for the Mongoso for providing the um, Deathmatch promo art. That is really good art. I think there was something else I wanted to say. Uh, oh, there's also a games prize pool given by Ninja Muffin, I believe. Um, correct me if I'm wrong later. But yeah, there will be some games that are that will be handed out by the to the final four of the contest. So that's coming up very quickly. We're getting to the end of the contest here. Nice, nice. Do you want to maybe give a shout out to the judges because they've been a, a big part of why this is working too. Yeah, I definitely could not be doing this without them. It's definitely a team effort between all of us. Um, judges are Ace Mantra. We got Jacob. We got myself. Splatter Dash is in here. Twanix has been a good help. Uh, Vocal Outburst. Uh, Nico Mika, who wasn't with us in the first round, but um, is helping judge for the rest of the rounds. Uh, Nico has been a very good help, and that's all the judges we have going on for this. I think we're a pretty solid team, a very diverse team to be able to uh, just handle yeah, and, handle yeah, much audio coming all, out. We're also coming in with our own backgrounds and perspective and giving um, just the more judges, the better. And it's been a great year so far. It's, I've seen the reviews too. You judges, you put in a lot of work. Like there's a large criteria. It's like six different things. And then they got, they got a score out of 10 and then they, they write a review for like everything. And it's, it's impressive. Like I didn't realize a uh, submission was for the NG audio death match. And then I saw, I saw um in the comments that these just these big blocks of like everything broken down. Like, Oh, you started with this, this note, this note, this is what good. It carries this. Like, I love it. I love, I love how in depth, because obviously as a reviewer, I believe that like, if you can break something, down to the core and figure out what people did right or what people did wrong and then help them improve like that's that's the end game and and ng audio deathmatch has been uh phenomenal at doing that especially with the audio uh audio underdog uh competition as well like people with lesser known music can also get feedback it's it's impressive and all this music i i love it i go for my morning run (laughs) i throw on some music and next thing i know it's just the music's hitting me like really good uh these last couple of days from all the submissions coming out i love it yeah uh I mean, that's what's drawn me into this community, actually, is the audio contest that's been going on here. Um, just between the art-inspired music contest, this deathmatch contest, and the underdog audio contest, just those three alone have uh, made it such an eye-opener to how much of a community there is in just the audio portal side of it um, and the amount of feedback and input you can get from people. There's such a good community that you can get like tons of advice for free. Like You can just go on a Discord channel somewhere and ask, like, hey, how do you make sidechain happen? And you get like responses easily coming around. Um, and then like this is also a point where like you can actually get in some audio and you'll get feedback that isn't just like, hey, that sounds cool, or hey, 10 out of 10. You'll actually get some <laughs> criticism being like, eh, I don't know what you were doing here. Right. Um, <laughs> might want to try something else. Can uh, I use this in geometry dash? <laughs> oh God! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, but yeah, since you brought it up, Zen, the way we have, I'll just go into how we do some of the judging right now. We have five categories that we're all utilizing. Uh, the first two are definitely composition and production. Um, so going into like, not only how are you creating each note, but then like, how good do you make it sound? How like, how like radio quality is it or something like that? And then um, there's other categories that are up to our each judge's dis, uh, discretion so like mine for example i'm looking at sound design or the performance of a song and then i'm also looking at like how creative and original you are or like and also some more structure like how is the big picture of the writing going on right um, right yeah and then uh, like how do you get chosen as a judge like was there a certain criteria do you have to like produce a specific amount of music do you have to be involved with the audio community how does someone get involved with other musicians like in order it- to be yeah, that some judge. of it is just like people that are willing to step up on people that we know are reputable song creators. So there really isn't like any solid criteria, which the engineer part of me is starting to scream out at that, um, saying there needs to be metrics. <laughs> 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 but <laughs> they're really like it's an objective. Like music is such an objective thing for people. So there's in the same vein it's like we don't really have like a strong criteria for like you need to have this many songs and you need to be able to score this much in this area it's just i don't we don't think that that stuff is a good uh, indicator of like how good a judge is if we know you make good music and you're willing to step up then that, you've already got most of the requirements there right we're looking <laughs> at you Albie. you need to step up you understand yeah, yeah all the winners up. of this contest have to be <laughs> judges next year yeah there you go. All of them. <laughs> Surprise! congratulations <laughs> so spazer this is your first year organizing it correct um it's not my first year judging but it is my first year taking the a champion championing on the 
project yeah yeah how that how that happened uh let's see because i started judging three years ago because it was metal renard then i think or maybe it was only yeah because three years ago it was metal renard last year it was like zelazon who disappeared um and then i decided to step up for this year so that's basically how that happened <laughs> Uh, what kind of experience has that been you like are you having fun like or is it oh, is yeah. it really stressful like, as, <laughs> as soon as i started judging it one year like it was great i enjoyed it because i know like the stress that goes into like participating you go in and be like oh shoot did i do good am i good enough did i like really mess up like and i don't know about it um is the other guy just gonna stop me oh no i'm going against uh I'm going against Garligan. How am I going to do? <laughs> There's all that stress for like being on the participant side. And I understand that so much. But then it's also really cool, like being able to have some input on how the contest is ran, being able to say, hey, I like what you did in this part of this, the song. I also like what you did here. And maybe like I could give some input there. Like I really like giving feedback to people's stuff. Yeah. And then also like I'm also involved from beginning to end. So that is... That's also one of the joys of being on the this side of the contest as well. Right. A lot of people who are judges, I wonder if like they feel a little bit like dissatisfied because they got to stay out of the contest. But at the same time, it's rewarding in its own aspect because you get to view every submission. Whereas if you're creating something, you don't got time to listen to everyone's like submission. And I, I take it you guys review like literally every song. Right. And I, I, I'm imagining that that helps you in your own musical process because you hear this elaborate like plethora of just a ch- crap ton of music and and like it makes you want to be creative yourself like that's how i feel when i look at art like sure i'm not that great at it but when i see all this art that comes pouring in it inspires me like just from being a judge like just being able to break it down and i want to incorporate those aspects into what i do like it's not such a big deal that i didn't get to participate it's almost a bigger deal that i got to view it all and enjoy it from the outside oh yeah definitely there's been years before like last year i think it's like i can't just like the year before it was like i can't just judge music i have to make it so like last year i tried (laughs) doing i tried judging the death match and creating for the underdog contest and i actually got to the finals in that one and got third place yeah so it was a little proof to myself that hey i can actually do this um but this year i was just too busy to uh create music on the side let alone being able to uh host a contest or two so this year was to, a be, to be fair me, though you, you did release skippity bop this year and that's pretty much <laughs> the only song that ever had to be made so <laughs> Skip it, Bob. Give it about awesome <laughs> Everyone look at Spencer's profile and judge him based on skippity bop that's his whole music <laughs> yeah that's that yeah, explains my that's, career i can't go anywhere else that's his career it's his uh opus gone <laughs> yeah <laughs> opus time, to go, time to go private <laughs> yeah <laughs> perfect uh, perfect but yeah uh, um, while, while we're talking audio i gotta give a shout out to Twanix for her new song i mean i know it's not part of the death match but oh my god yeah, man yeah it's stroll down saint paint crass Damn it. I can't say it. She uses words. She she likes French a lot. I don't know. I don't know how to say it. I'm sorry. But it's really well done. Especially well done. Also cool that she's collabing with uh Aikyo Daku, who was who was a contestant this year for the death match, but I think he uh got beaten out. But I think that's really cool that he showed up here. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Collaboration is you can do that so well with music. I like seeing I like seeing musicians collaborate. Now, audio deathmatch that's singular, right? That's a singular submission or can you collaborate with others? You can you can go in as a team. The only catch is you have to be a team from beginning to end. You can't I um I mean you could maybe separate and one person drops out from the contest entirely and the other person continues on, but you can't mix and match with people as you're going on. And if you're if like if you're entering as a solo uh, participant and then you need like some voices or stuff like that. There's a requirement that they have to be that the person who started with the contest also has to create the content for the singers or the performers that have to go in. So there's oh, there's wow. flexibility, but yeah. Wow. Saying I can't just ride on somebody else's coattails the whole time. No. <laughs> oh man, what? <laughs> Come on, that's what I do Damn best it. at. Right? <laughs> Boy, other people do <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because there's been people that have entered as a band. I think there was Bass Fiddle Jones who last year was came in as a like a band, and he was kind of cool. 
I like that um, a lot. Yeah, and then last year also had Infinity and Stardew team up, and holy cow, what a dream team that was that I never knew I needed. <laughs> 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 yeah, seriously, yes. check out some of uh, check out some of Infinity's and Stardew's submissions from 2019. Those are really those, those are really solid pieces. Mm-hmm. Um, and actually, Stardew used um one of his his addition this piece this year was a contest piece made for last year, and that was. That is a super good piece. Highly suggest it. I think it's called Winter Lewd. Highly suggested. Winter Lewd. Yeah. Lewd. <laughs> Lewd I'm used to. <laughs> nice one. I like I like how, how variable or like how much variance you can have in the contest submissions too. Like I've heard a lot of organic stuff. I've heard a oh, lot yeah. of like complete synth stuff. And then like you said, even a band submitted, like just a band just playing their, their yeah, stuff. Yeah, you can get anybody and everybody into the contest because um, I think... I would get the impression that people think Newgrounds is just going to be all like dance and electronic music. Right. Um, but there's actually like a good majority of it is orchestral. Um, there's also a good, I mean, there is also a good amount of uh, dubstep as well. But last year there was a metal guy or was it last year or two years ago? There was somebody who did metal and got pretty far in. There isn't a lot of hip hop, uh, I think, but you still see that here every once in a while. Some jazzy or orchestral stuff. There's you can pick any sort of genre and it'll show up at some point. No, oh, absolutely. Yeah, the, the, apparently, there's the Mr. Smuggles genre. Uh, Mr. Mr. Smuggles Mr. wanted Mr. us to mention <laughs> that. <laughs> I want to give a shout out to uh, Thomas Steak for his uh, his uh, submission Stargazer for the contest that he's in. I don't know if it's Audio Deathmatch or it might not even be for Audio Deathmatch. Yeah, Newgrounds Underdog audio competition actually i want to say that he came up with something very organic with like a solo guitar and people don't realize like even by yourself like your most minimal uh, amount of instruments you can still pull off something phenomenally great and everyone's just blown away by that i've seen that reviews on his and it's it's fantastic yeah that contest is great too runs along a similar vein but the the way it's organized is a little different but yeah both of these contests are great contests no, after we this, should, we, what, what are you going to be up to, Spadzer? Like, because you're oh just gosh. gonna, you're just gonna relax. Or you, or you're just gonna pump out music like a madman because you just, you had to sit back for so I don't long. Know. Um, because yeah, there's a little story <laughs> behind what's happened with me this year that I won't go into too many details with right now. Oh man! But after this contest, I mean, I feel a lot more refreshed and like energized right now. So I got. Some things I can I'm thinking about I could be doing. I definitely want to be getting more music because it would be nice to like uh, um, get to the point where I can have some sort of fan base that I could maybe make money off of at some point. Which okay, that's the okay. dream, isn't it? If yeah, I can it get it, be. yeah. If I can get it to where like they can pay for like my food every once in a while, that'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> ramen ramen noodles don't cost that much, so no. So yeah, if I just if people can pay for my ramen noodles every week, that'd be fantastic. Yeah. Um, and there's also some really cheap Chinese places around here. So that <laughs> perfect. <laughs> um, yeah, I probably could be looking at collabs. I might be even looking into. I made a list of cover songs I would like to try. Um, being able to take some popular songs and put like a melodic drum step spin on them, maybe would be kind of a fun idea. Um, nice. Also, a bunch of collabs with people would be really great. There's already like a good handful of people that I want to hit up for uh, trying some styles. I know, like I've already got something that would be fun to do with Lich, <laughs> Lich Lord, Lich Lord. I don't know how to pronounce. Look, it. I don't know if it's. It should be Lich, right? Lich King. Yeah. Not a Lich, Lich Lord. King. He's fine. Yeah. Lich Lord. <laughs> Lich Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <Sounds> like, <laughs> no, Jesus. Lich Lord. Yeah, I might as well keep mispronouncing people's names here. Right. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Big shout out to Lich Lord. <laughs> Any other shout outs you would like to give for like uh, basically the contest or like maybe some of the judges that you like that yeah in particular. Um, well, let's let's go through the pairings about what's going on right now. For the first pairing, we have actually let's make sure I'm looking at the right page. We have Thompson who's in the first pairing. He's going against uh, uh, Phonometrologist. Those two are definitely going to be some heavy hitters. Um, you got Thompson with his really cool like electronic. Um, orchestral dubstep style that's coming in it's very it sounds very organic for the style that it is um and very spacey too so he's gonna be one to look out for but phonometrologist he's a very solid composer coming in from the classical side um that's gonna be a very interesting battle there a very tough opponent um for the next pairing we have lbgn against tesla x11 those two are gonna be very interesting to watch 
Um, you have Tesla that comes in with a similar style with Thompson, I believe, because um, it's kind of like that organic and orchestral style of dubstep, but it's like a really rich and dark atmosphere that he comes with. That he comes in with, um, and then Alby just comes in with his like godlike orchestral skills that he got out of nowhere. So that'll be an interesting, uh, interesting pairing to watch out for. Um, the next pair is Connor Diva against Predator Music, um, which this is interesting because Connor Diva actually got beat out earlier in the contest, but he came in as a runner-up um, because there was a uh, dropouts earlier in the match, so he was able to come back in and start making some good headway. So now he's up against. Uh, predator music who is actually a young artist like i think he's what like 17 or 15 or something 19 okay there's, wow yeah yeah and he <laughs> makes like 15, 19 there, I mean, there's, there's someone here yeah that they're not that's amazing like how good music can come by people who are like in their teens yeah uh, I'm, I'm really impressed and predator music fits that um description right there and he actually beat out lich lord in the previous round so wow yeah he, he's coming in swinging hard um <laughs> that's then, cool yeah and then the last group we have el midi against machiavellian i believe i pronounced that right el midi um is another like a single uh single instrument pianist that's coming in although i don't think they're uh actually playing piano there's just a bunch of midi for the piano but still coming in like rel- relatively late into the contest with only piano pieces which is very impressive the only other person i've seen do that is uh, lucid's shadow dreamer and i don't think he made it in this contest too well um probably got beat out early on because competition is hard in this and then there's machiavellian who is doing some amazing work with uh some video like some older video game style of music i highly suggest checking out some of his stuff like because his like retro chiptune sound is really fantastic so he's making it far really far just on the creativeness of using that chiptune chiptune style wow um so i take it there's a forum or like a thread post that, or like a news post i can go to where i can see all these pairings because just listening to this this variety this like this giant landscape of different artists it's like every color on the color wheel wheel except in terms of music it is it's oh, fascinating yeah. so anything you want you could find it through the ng audio death match yeah look out for 2020 ng adm round three that's where people are uploading at this very moment right now um you'll be able to see the latest con at, at the time of this recording you'll be able to see the latest contestants submitting their stuff once everyone's in by sunday we'll have a week for the judges to look through them all be able to give like a solid idea of what score we want to give and we'll also be leaving a bunch of reviews like we did last time yeah so i'll be watching that thread for this round's contest pairings um and then when that's done i'll try to remember to post a link to the round four of the deathmatch competition cool uh, nice. in, in the chat uh, jacob just posted a link to the round two playlist uh is somebody uh specifically in charge of making these playlists so we could go to like a specific user account and just get these playlists real easy hmm that's a good question that I'm going to be waiting on Jacob's answer for. Nah, but I'll make okay. more. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, so yeah, check out uh, Jacob's user page and he'll probably hook that up. Thanks, Jacob. We love you. Yeah, thanks, Jacob. You overslept, but it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> nice. yeah, Jacob was supposed to be here, but I guess not. <laughs> That's all right. We did fine without him. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently he's hung over. <laughs> <laughs> awesome he's a judge too he's hung over yeah, you guys must have partied hard last night <laughs> speaking of parties and having fun final fantasy 7 collab fuck that's a yeah big, that's a big party oh my god hey, yeah what is the final fantasy 7 collab oh man Let, let's oh. get snackers in here and uh yeah let's snackers elaborate hello bring on snackers yo hell yeah Come on down to Wait, the, is the Final Fantasy Seven collab snackers. See, what is a, what? What's the Final Fantasy Seven? The final, the final fan, the final. <laughs> final <laughs> what's fucking. The, what is the FF Seven collab snackers? Tell me about final it. Lay Fantasy it down for me. Is a video game RPG developed for the PlayStation One, created by Square in 1990. Eight, I think. I don't know. Yeah, no, the FF Seven <laughs> collab is just a bit slow. It's another big, big, big Newgrounds collab. Filled with fucking like everyone, like a, a lot of cool people, and it's just a bunch of funny, funny cartoons about Final Fantasy VII, and uh, that that's it, really, honestly. It was hosted by uh, Ivan Super. Almighty, right? He just announced it on the forums. Then Ivan anybody... and Phantom Arcade, yeah. And they, they just they, like 
if you want to show up and be like, oh, I want to do an animation, you could get into it more than likely. Yeah, That's yeah, cool. pretty, pretty much. On, on that side note, I, I just heard recently on Twitter that uh, Ivan and Phantom Arcade have gotten engaged or something. Yes, oh my God. It's, <laughs> it's, I'm so happy for them. It's uh, really cool. Beautiful, beautiful couple. It's about time. I, I shed a tear, man. You know, it's yeah. weird how Teen Mom knows about it, though. You know, that was that, yeah. that was a special part about You'd it. You'd be surprised it, 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 at the it, it, connections those guys have with uh, with them, and, you know, Teen Mom, MTV, and all that. You know, it's pretty, they're tight. Right. Yeah. Final Fantasy VII Club plus Teen Mom. It makes sense when you really think yeah. about it. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. For, for anybody who's like, what the fuck are these guys talking about? Ninja Muffin fucking did one of those things where you pay a celebrity to send a message and... Send it to Phantom Arcade. It's like a fucking eleven Holy minute rant. Crap, really? Final Fantasy the, 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 Seven collab and his his uh, marriage or whatever to Ivan Almighty. It's fucking crazy. This is the second one. Trolling man. It is. This yeah, is the it's, second it's, one. Yeah, he's done. <laughs> like and Ninja it's, it's, Muffin it's, knows how to invest his money. Let's just put that. It's up. the same <laughs> person as well. He keeps asking the same Teen Mom. I thought it was another <laughs> different person this time, but no. And she like just straight up doesn't remember the last time. So. I mean, <laughs> He's planning so that every few months so that she forgets she's just gonna keep asking the same woman to say hi phantom arcade wow just a bunch of random shit like every few months i don't <laughs> and maybe eventually she'll like, same, same fucking guy what oh i don't know jesus uh, if, if you're not following brilliant. phantom arcade on twitter follow him and you'll find the videos it's fucking hilarious yeah it's great oh, 20 shit. animators though in the final fantasy collab and then teen mom was like i heard you got some bad feedback but you got some good <laughs> feedback and i don't know i've got I, some, I heard some people pictures. didn't like it yeah <laughs> in that accent i heard some people didn't like the collab too much but it's all right you guys just keep doing what you do okay i promise you you people will love it okay you just and kids yeah. just your, your business ventures will succeed <laughs> yeah your business so, venture <laughs> So Snickers, elaborate the, the kind of feedback you think the Final Fantasy VII collab got overall. And then also like with your tune that you put out that I know like you've worked on three months for that for that particular animation. Like yeah. how have how, how the reviews been? How's the feedback been? Sucked, gay, not funny. Who who made this shit? I mean, it, it, nobody fucking likes it. No, I'm just kidding. No, uh, <laughs> it's been... Um, I don't know. I don't really read the reviews that much just because there's so fucking many of them. But I, a lot of people seem to like it, which is which is nice. I can tell you a funny, funny enough story about the reviews, though. Like something that happened immediately after uh, the collab came out. Uh, I don't know if any of you guys are aware of this, but fucking so in my cartoon, yeah, uh, Thrift Man does a voice for it. You know, Teddy? Uh, yeah, yeah, Thrift yeah. Man. He, yeah. Did, he, he voices the Shinra guard. And um, so earlier in that day, before the collab came out, I was talking to Teddy in school. I said, Teddy, wouldn't it be really funny if uh, for every review uh, that comes out, we all respond swag, just just swag to every single fucking review like that comes out, like all the <laughs> hundreds of reviews. And Teddy was like, hey, right. yeah, that'd, yeah that'd, that'd be pretty funny. And I was like, yeah, cool. Whatever. And I left it off. Like, you know, and then so later on, the, 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 uh, the collab comes out. I start watching it with Kermit. And I, I'm getting all these notifications. I don't look at them, so because you know I'm watching it. And after I'm done watching, I look, I look at my notifications, and I see every fucking review has a response that just says "swag" by Thrift Man. The second <laughs> it can come out, <laughs> and, and, and he told me that later on that literally he he was playing CS:GO at the same time and alt tabbing every single time there was a new review just to type out "swag" to every review, and it was flooding everyone who was a part of the project's fucking notifications. So like he, they kicked him from the project. And 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 Spaz Kid and Johnny Utah for, were, were like pissed about it on Twitter, and we were like arguing with them. And we were like, "What did he do wrong?" And he was like, "He was spamming every fucking comment." And, and he, he was being mad. we were being assholes. Like we were, but it was it was hilarious. I, I just, oh my god, like no, that's great. It's so <laughs> stupid. Like my favorite part of that is that. He didn't just, you know, he went all in. He didn't just like copy the word swag and paste it every time. No, I like to imagine he typed it out each time. S -W -A -G. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Pups. Yeah. S -W -A -G, pups. <laughs> swag, <laughs> swag, swag. He caused a chain reaction too. It wasn't just us. Like everyone, like all the reviews, because the first page of reviews was just swag. So everyone just started, like people commented themselves, just swag. Like Sir Palo said swag, I think. Some fucking like other Sir Lenward did. Just everyone. And it was just fucking nonsense. Like, uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> Sir uh, Payne was like swag. It was like, like, like everyone he didn't even know what was happening. They're just like swag. Okay, <laughs> everyone else. Saying you talked to We're like, dude, what the fuck? What is going on? It's just like, yeah, wow, literally. Mad at that? That was great. What do you mean? <laughs> I, got, I got to throw this out here. Just because of that event, I now have to program in a new way to uh, block reviews from single submissions on the feed. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no. Oh, it was so worth it. Oh. Though. So, awesome. so thanks, Teddy. You just made more work for me, you motherfucker. Yeah, Ted. Hey, he's back oh, on the project, though, right? They didn't like remove him forever. Well, but... no, he's like sh- he's like shadow banned. I think so. He like oh, shows up on the project, but he's not like when you when you go to his profile, it doesn't say that he's a part of it. And I don't think he's been fucking uh, reacting to every review with a heart. I swear to God, it's like every fucking review with a heart emoji. That's his way of doing it now because he can't respond to them. That's <laughs> <laughs> version of swag. That's awesome. yeah. <laughs> I don't. I don't think he's in the wrong here. No, I, <laughs> I don't, know, I don't think so either. <laughs> like what? What was new? Some professional site? Oh, FF Seven. So you're fucking up my professional portfolio here. Like Spaz Kid, you drew. You drew a uh, uh, cloud it, 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 with his dick out, like and in dresses and shit. Like, <laughs> like, like thrift man, fucking type swag if he wants to. What do you mean? Yeah, for context, Tom was credited on the project. Yeah, and, Tom uh, was getting <laughs> fucking swag Tom, thing as well. Tom, yeah. Tom couldn't see like the legitimate posts in his feed because it was like 400 fucking review yeah. posts from fucking collab. <laughs> no, it's oh, neat. I do. Yeah. We, we, need a, we need a swag reaction is what we need. Then Teddy can just hit one button and be done. I was wondering about that, if we should update like Newgrounds reactions. We could put a swag reaction. That'd be cool. Yeah. Please, just for no. the because he broke the fucking notifications. Like, congratulations. <laughs> you, 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 if you, you could find a way to just program it to his account, only his yeah. account, and he can do it, I, I, yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> <laughs> that would be amazing. Everyone would get that so like a, Yeah, that sounds like a really good use of my time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you paid hourly for that shit, right? Jesus. I'm glad you're seeing it our way. Yes. Yeah. Perfect. That is amazing. That is amazing. Well, your yeah. yours uh your piece was like what, like six minutes long or some shit like that? Like it oh was God, a long... not six minutes. No. <laughs> uh mm-hmm. it was it was gonna be like th- three like three minutes or something. No, I, it's just two minutes, I think. Just two but, minutes, uh, just so many swags in there it felt longer. <laughs> a lot of swags, yeah. No, Kaylin, that, that wasn't even in the script, by the way. The part where you just go swag, 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 swag. That was just Kaylin ripping <laughs> off and I thought it's so fucking funny. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he made it, he, how many swag did you ever count the amount of swags in, in your fucking in your part no because like in the script there was hardly anything like because the script was kind of shitty i'm not gonna lie because well of course it was but fucking like the, what made it funny was like the voice actors like kaylin and, and logan doggo just uh cam especially oh my fucking god like that it was the most fun i had recording a cartoon because they just looked at the script which is which was just like a bare bones like what what happens in it and they were just taking it and fucking just b- being the funniest people ever like the part where where, where, where he hits swagger off and he, he he goes into the reactor and he goes swag. <laughs> like, Kill just fucking said that. I pissed myself. I was like, holy shit! <laughs> it was hilarious. That is fantastic. It's such man. a funny visual. Shout out! Oh, shout out to uh, Doggle too for do- voicing uh, Cloud in Dear Pictures. Shout out to everyone. Animation. Yeah. Everyone did yeah. fucking fantastic. I like Food how Shark for the backgrounds. Food Shark for the backgrounds and for helping uh uh Cloud Sh- Cloud Strife uh kill a bunch of civilians to earn that that sweet guap. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. Kn- <laughs> that knockoff Supreme uh, merch or whatever it was. Jesus. Yeah, yeah. That was fantastic. I like that it a lot. It was a lot of fun, yeah. Uh, Cam was Barrett. Like <laughs> a lot of people were that like, was, I, didn't, yeah, I, I gotta say I this. One that. thing about Cam, and I love Cam. But he doesn't exactly have the most masculine voice, and you had him voice the most masculine character. <laughs> it's funny, right? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah, it's perfect. Um, out of everyone, who was your favorite? Who was your favorite animation? I mean, you can't say Carmet. All right, that's not fair. You can't just say Carmet. All right. <laughs> I, uh, that's Which tough, one? Which man. one? I, I don't know. I mean, they're they're all so great. Obviously, they're they're all, I love like all of them really. But uh. Uh-huh. Uh, except the one that uh, that one guy made, but uh, the one besides with Cloud that, was really good. Yeah, the one with Cloud. <laughs> I don't know. Spaz Kids was amazing. It just his animation just gets better almost every time. Almost, you know. I, I don't know. He's fucking. Oh, you know what? Actually, I'll I'll say Oni. That's a generic answer, but seeing Oni's fucking thing at the end. No, I, that was I great. fucking love the yeah. comedy. The comedy was peak in that one. I do like where he went with yeah. that. Like, oh man, he's a little <laughs> snowboard. You just put it on your feet and you go. And <laughs> he just not, pushes it out. I loved it. <laughs> it was kind of your fault. <laughs> now, is, so, uh, yeah. 
Is this JoJo collab a real a real fucking thing, or was that just a joke at the end? That was a joke. I didn't even fucking know about that. Like, I was a part of it. I, I that, that was just thrown in there. I guess he just rounded a bunch of people. That's a joke. I thought it was real at first. I was like, what the fuck is this? And then it said three hours and like three different parts. I was like, there's no way this is real. And it's not. It's just fucking stupid, I think. It's not real. It's not you know, real. You know it's going to turn real now, though. That's the thing. <laughs> we Probably. Hope, I don't fucking we know. fucking hope not. I'm just kidding. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I don't watch JoJo, so I don't know. So. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Now what kind of what kind of connections do you have with everyone that participate? Like do you stay in contact or is everyone just like bam just gone? Uh, obviously uh Spaz Kid and Johnny Utah want nothing to do with fucking thrift man, but yeah, I, I imagine they're they're fucking guts now. Uh, they're forever gone with them now, I think. Yeah. No, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. The server is still up, like the Discord or whatever. I think um I don't yeah, I've i i I'd say I've made a few friends from this. I like uh Arizonaut, I helped him out with stuff, he's cool uh just there's a yeah i mean good, the cool people are part of it i don't know I'll, I'll probably stay in contact with uh doing whatever right right yeah. right it's just fun to like be around animators i guess if you're an animator yeah. i wouldn't know i'm not an animator so fuck <laughs> it's and awesome arsena is the one who came out with the p joke the fucking uh pifa fucking uh cockheart animation yeah I think Did his you, is the most infamous. The most infamous because <laughs> like, it was like, oh, this is disgusting <laughs> in the middle of this. Like, I, I know someone that was watching it with their family, and they're like, oh, well, as soon as you hit the, <laughs> <laughs> why would you do that? Why would you do that? A Newgrounds <laughs> collab? Like, what? Like, like with have his you, brother? Have you never seen him? Like, oh from yeah, the yeah, site yeah. that brought you Africa dudes. But sit down, family. <laughs> <laughs> from the guys i brought you africa dudes there's no way this is gonna go wrong <laughs> the street fighter club i mean come on like <laughs> that is true right? that is true that's true I, I, I just like how different everything was as it progressed like even butt spose like animation fit in there like uh everyone had their own little style uh sierra sora was really cool to see their style in there too like yeah. everything and then there's just this sex scene in the fucking middle of it with all this piss everywhere and then, <laughs> A really good animation. <laughs> it's like, all right, all right. Really all this is- I don't know if it was an editing choice either, but like most of them were kind of, you know, PG thirteen and family friendly, and then bam, they just hit you with that. Like. <laughs> That's some, that's some great yeah. editing. It's it's like how the South Park movie it starts off with like a really nice song, and then they go to the cinema and watch a movie, and it's just fucking f words and cursing and shit and fucking <laughs> pissed. And it's hilarious. <laughs> that is perfect. Yeah, because uh, Cloud runs off to the bathroom. Like, okay, he's got to go take a piss, and like, ah, he's just gonna be peeing. It's really funny. Oh my god! <sighs> I actually got a live reaction from someone watching it. Like they were typing it out as they were watching it, and literally the the, the process was like, oh, hey, hey, what's Tifa doing in there? Oh God, piss! What? Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jesus! I saw Arzana post a little gif from it too, and it was like Tifa like uh, giving a boob job, and I was like, okay, what does this have to do with the fucking collab? And then uh, <laughs> a little, I know that it has a lot to do with the collab. <laughs> I was like, it's like this is just uh, porn. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> have you guys yeah, been uh, checking out any of those reaction videos to the Smash collab on YouTube? Like, I hope they do that with this one. <laughs> I yeah, I, I want to see those. I want to see people look at the fucking those cartoons <laughs> before. Yeah, that would be awesome. Actually, <laughs> they'd have to cut out like fucking twenty minutes of it. <laughs> Just their face, like as it changes. Like, oh wait, what? What? <laughs> like pe- people have been uploading the collab to YouTube. They like people rip off the collab and put it on YouTube. But like straight up, e- not e- even without reporting it. I feel like they'll just get they'll just get taken down anyways. You know, you can't. It's like it's so cool. You can't even put it on YouTube. It'll just get taken down. It has to be on Newground. Man. <laughs> I like so that a lot. Cool. Yeah, rebellious. Yeah. <laughs> 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 on Newground. People are the new guys. Not racist. <laughs> how many? Uh, how many? How many extra followers did you get from participating in the collab? Or like, like what? <laughs> how, clout, how, what is your clout doing now? That's what yeah, I'm asking. Yeah, yeah, the clout. I got the the hustling, the bustling, the little. So I I hit 1K fans on Newgrounds because of this, which was really cool. Boom. Yeah, yeah. Boom, boom. I'm high roller. High yeah. roller. High roller, baby. That's so long. yours, yours yeah. took three months. Did you did you do yours like in the beginning, like soon as the collab started, or did you take a couple months to, to like actually find the collab? Like when did that happen? When did your involvement actually start? Uh, I started like literally. I think it was like on, it was on a Friday. I think Phantom Arcade like brought me in like on Friday morning. I, I literally remember being in school, like like I, in the bathroom looking at my phone. I was like, oh, holy shit, I'm in the club. Cool. I went to Teddy. I was like, Teddy, I'm in the club. Oh, let's make a cartoon. He was like, yeah. And um, I think. <laughs> 
Oh, I yeah, I literally I brainstormed the idea with Cam for Clout Strife before I got in because um we were just coming like if we if I, if I got in I was like what what cartoon would I make and then Clout, uh, Cam just randomly wrote guys what if Clout Strife uh but Clout Strife and it just snowballed in this awful idea that I thought <laughs> was hilarious and um yeah and no, I'm pretty much after that I just uh, on that same Friday I went home from school I just started fucking drawing just coming up these shitty designs for like. YouTuber cloud stuff and I loved it. Starboard, and that was it. Yeah, yeah. I just kept working on it. It, no, it came out so good. Like, congratulations for getting it done. Congratulations to everybody who was a part of it. It came out freaking hilarious. It turned out amazing. Uh, they get better every time. Yeah, I like, uh, I, I, I like how been questioning is sexuality. I know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fucking in Sunday Best was amazing. I'm like, there's so much good content to Sunday Best, but there's just there's a lot of dick too. So like, I I enjoy this. A lot. <laughs> a question mark at the end of that. I enjoy this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah okay. Congratulations to everybody in the collab. Uh, congratulations to everybody who's still in the Newgrounds Audio Death Match. Uh, Spazer, thank you so much for joining us today. You're welcome, Snackers. Thanks yeah, for yeah. popping in. Thank um, you. I'm sure we're gonna we're gonna have you on again probably to talk about some of these other Audio Death Match brackets. And hell, maybe maybe we'll do an actual produced show and do like a battle of the bands or something. I don't know. That'd be cool. But thanks, I don't Pesco know if I want to put You're welcome, Spadeezer. Um, <laughs> thanks for co-hosting with me, Goodle and Ix and Ix and Ix. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's great. <laughs> been a great show thanks to all the listeners at home and the people who are eventually going to hear this recording and be disappointed they missed madness day all right great show everybody thank you for listening to the new grounds podcast this show is recorded live on our discord server join us at bit.ly slash ngp discord thank you to Waterflame for the use of his song gabberfly goodbye all right, I guess I will bring us in if everybody will shut the fuck up for a minute. <clears throat> yeah, but what about the clap? There, you got the clap. Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> I always wanted one. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, we run a tight show here, guys. <laughs> oh, I got to stop laughing before I bring this in. All right, deep breath. One with the universe. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> God damn it. It's like Guys, trying to hide and hide and, hide and seek with your best friend in a closet. Right. Yeah. right. So whoever edits this, this has to be like a secret track at the end of the episode. All right. Honestly, no, I think I think All right, here, here goes. started. Started at the class. I'm super nervous. Can we actually start this? Like so <laughs> All right. Everyone shut up. Three, two, one. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the New Grounds Podcast. I'm your host, Psycho Goldfish. And along with me are Good L, Zin Zinix, and a special good, a special good, oh, take two. Oh, my hey, everybody. <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome to the New Grounds Podcast. It's me, your host, Psycho Goldfish, along with these two other guys. Say hello.